on a holiday up here about four years ago, I went out to the Thomas factory and I bumped into one of the owners in the car park. He said, are you looking for a studio? And I said, yeah, I'm thinking about moving up here. And he goes, I've got a studio right here. So he showed me this space, it was fantastic. And so I decided then and there that we were going to move to Noosa. Artists, we tend to be very sort of solitary by nature in our work and stuff, we're not very social. So to have a studio in a board factory was really, really good. Gangster rap to old school jazz, anything by Miles Davis or John Coltrane. Creative process is basically I start with a surf invariably in the morning and then I come into the studio and work. Surfing is super important. I've painted and drawn since I was a kid. Always had a brush or a pencil in my hand. Because I'm always at the beach and I'm always studying not just the surf but the environs around including crowds and stuff like that. It's very much related to what I do outside of painting. My work isn't just seen in a gallery these days. My work's seen in fashion. It's seen on boards, towels, shirts, boardies. And I like the fact that my work can be seen in those instances. This is actually the first one I ever did of this series about 12 years ago. It doesn't exist anymore. A client bought it for his house up in Kilcare, a beach house. It burnt down and the work went with it. If I'm working in the studio during the day and the surf suddenly turns on, then it's just down tools, like everyone else up here, and you just hit the waves, you know. My favourite board would be this mid-length 7-2, another good all-round board for the points and the beaches. This one I painted, it's a Thomas Log. This is actually one of my favorite boards. I think it's the best 30 bucks I've ever spent. It's a knee board, and I've actually had this shape redone. It's just had the width taken out of it. I got him to put fixed fins in, because that's still a bit trad, I like that. And this is really just my little go-to sort of summer stubby. I love it. And this guy, Peter Wilkinson, he lost his foot in a lawn mowing accident, and so he became a knee boarder. And he actually was the contest director for a few of the Bells contests back in the 70s. So there's a bit of history with this board. Hey, this is Clive, he's hanging out with me. He's a good studio dog. Uh, he's a Ridgey. We think he's got a bit of Dane in him. I imagine it was probably a Dane hopped the fence the night he was conceived because he's actually fucking huge. 